What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Carlin Red. And we back for some more of that Ali Land boxing talk, people. And today we talking Pacquiao versus Thurman. Skill for skill. Alright, y'all. Uh, watching the Pacquiao versus De La Hoya fight, you know, doing a little research to uh, give me some insight on how Pacquiao should go about fighting Keith Thurman. And to me, I feel like uh, Thurman and De La Hoya are similar fighters, so I feel like this fight has a lot of relevance when it comes to how Pacquiao should go about trying to trying to defeat Oscar De La Hoya. Uh, there are a few points I want to make as far as uh, the skills of Manny Pacquiao and the skills of Oscar De La Hoya. And uh, I think there are a few keys to victory for Manny Pacquiao when it comes to this fight. Uh, first off, there are a few things that, uh, that were said during this fight uh, by, uh, I can't remember his name, but he was one of the announcers. Uh, he recently passed away. Uh, Emmanuel Stewart, I'm sorry, I don't know why his name escaped me. So Emmanuel Stewart said a few things about De La Hoya that I think are similar to Keith Thurman's style of fighting. And, and it's basically that De La Hoya had a lack of head movement and a lack of foot movement in, in trying to avoid the punches of Pacquiao. And uh, he, he also said that uh, Freddie Roach kept referring to Pacquiao to turn De La Hoya, which basically meant to throw a flurry and circle, throw a flurry and circle to uh, try to throw off the more plotting style of boxing that De La Hoya uses. And I feel like this is this is going to be a main factor because if you watch that Jose Cito Lopez versus Keith Thurman fight, you can very clearly see uh, Thurman was getting hit because of his lack of head movement and his lack of, uh, I like to call it, uh, uh, head foot coordination coordination basically his his head and his feet were not coordinated he was not moving uh he was not moving his head in the same direction his feet were going so his feet were trying to move him in one direction but his head was looking in the opposite direction which was causing him to get ca caught with uh uh very wide very strong looping punches from uh Josecito Lopez now, uh, Manny Pacquiao is no, in no way is a similar fighter to Josecito Lopez. Much smaller, much more faster. Uh, I wouldn't say he's 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 uh, as as big and and powerful, but probably just as strong. You know, Josecito Lopez is even bigger than Keith Thurman, so I can't say he's as big or as uh, as 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 and and powerful as Josecito Lopez. But I'm pretty sure. When it comes to punching power, he's 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 he might be actually surpassing Jose Cito Lopez. So, to me, I feel like uh, one of the keys to victory for Manny Pacquiao is going to be his ability to turn uh, Keith Thurman. He, is he actually going to be able to flurry and then have Keith Thurman be uh, offset and be able to turn Keith Thurman as he was doing to Oscar De La Hoya pretty much all night long. Uh, I also feel like the style of fight Pacquiao is going to have to put up is going to have to be a speed style fight. Uh, not so much foot speed. Well, he's going to need foot speed as well, but I feel like in this fight, hand speed is going to be more of a factor. I think that he's going to have to be able to put together for at least the first five or six rounds uh, multiple combinations. And, and those combinations, like I said, are going to have to be able to turn... Keith Thurman, to keep Keith Thurman's size off of Pacquiao. You know, Keith Thurman is the larger fighter. And uh, when you think about Pacquiao fighting larger fighters, he's always had success. The only fighter that was bigger than him, uh, who he didn't have success, according to some, against is Floyd Mayweather. But, you know, some people think he had great success in that fight. Some people think he actually won that fight. So it's all, it's all subjective to how you look at boxing. 
Uh, me personally, you know, I, I've already put my opinion out there about that fight, so, you know, no need to go there. But I do believe that this is the fight that Pacquiao's going to have to fight because of the size, you know, Oscar De La Hoya, very similar to the size of Keith Thurman. Uh, like I said, the style that De La Hoya employed was very similar to the style that Keith Thurman employs. I just feel like this is the style of fight Pacquiao has to, uh, has to put up to uh, beat Keith Thurman. You know, I think if anything less than a, uh, anything less than a, 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 a great performance in hand speed, a, a great performance in angles or turning his opponent, uh, I think it could be a long night. You know, I'm not saying that Thurman's going to beat him. But Thurman uh, will have the ability to fight back and, and use his size uh, throughout the whole matchup, you know. So Pac it's going to be up to Pacquiao to dictate the pace. It's going to be up to Pacquiao to, like I said, land these uh, straight punches down the pipe when he can. You know, he's very powerful with his left hand. And when he has the opportunity to, uh, to hit Thurman, he's going to have to hit him. Like you see him hitting him low, he's going to have to start body. And then go ahead, body go ahead, you know, and then turn. And he's going to do those type of combinations to me all night long. And I feel like even at 41 years of age, 40, 41, how you want to look at it, uh, I think he's about to turn 41. But uh, even at 40 years of age, even if you, when you watch the Broner fight, uh, everybody has to understand when he fought Broner, he did have the flu. So uh, I'm pretty sure his uh, stamina and everything were affected by that fight. Although he was still able to look very good, uh, very elite, and still was able to win that fight. So, uh, I, I really don't, I really can't, uh, I'm really not going to uh, judge Pacquiao too much off the, off the Broner fight because of the fact that he had the flu. Uh, even though he won that fight, you know, I, 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 but I, he, he doesn't need to put up that type of performance. It needs to be more of a performance similar to this. You know, Pacquiao did wonderful things in this fight. Uh, people say Oscar De La Hoya was weight drained, that Keith Thurman won't be weight drained. Uh, one thing about the the weights, uh, I, I can't say that he was weight drained. He did he he did drop down in weight, but it was his it was his choice to take the fight at 147 pounds. And I remember them when I uh, when I watched this fight mentioning uh, should Pacquiao fight Margarito. And everybody was saying, no, Margarito's too big. But we all seen what Pacquiao was able to accomplish when he actually did fight Antonio Margarito. He pretty much destroyed Margarito. Uh, similar, same fashion the way he did Cotto. Uh, so, like I said, he, he has extreme success uh, being a smaller fighter and, and having uh, his opponent have to fight a downward style fight. So... You know, it was landing amazing punches, man. It was uh, uh, He was pretty much walking him into the punch. And the fact that he was turning him, as soon as De La Hoya would try to get off, he was just punching over. He was punching over De La Hoya, punching down. As you can see, De La Hoya's having to punch down to get Pacquiao. The, the fact that he has to punch down, he gives that Pacquiao the opportunity to punch over his, uh, his jab. So... I'm not saying uh, Keith Thurman is as skilled as Oscar De La Hoya. In no way am I saying that. In no way is, is, has the career of Keith Thurman fallen any type of similar path to De La Hoya. But size-wise and uh, the plotting style that De La Hoya was using at this age to try to beat Manny Pacquiao is very similar to how Thurman fights now. And it's going to take, once again... A Oscar De La Hoya performance that Pacquiao put up to beat Keith Thurman. So, uh, let me know what you guys think about that, man. You know, hit that like button for me. Please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you know, a lot of big things coming to the channel, man. Uh, I recently uh, reached out to a fellow YouTuber and... Uh, they agreed to do a collabo with me, so, you know, I'm going to say that it's a, a surprise for everybody, but I think it's going to be a wonderful uh, collaboration, and, I, I, you know, I salute that person, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy that, man, you know, a lot of new things are going to come to, to the channel, you know, I'm trying to expand, not just do boxing, not just do the other content I was doing, 
but uh, show my multi talents or multiple skill sets uh, just from things that I've learned throughout life. So we be, you know, be looking out <clears throat> for everything that's coming up on the Cartman Red Does It All channel. If you want to be a part of Ali Land Boxing Talks community, uh, just head over to the community section, drop me a comment. Uh, or you can uh, leave me a comment down in the comment section. Ready for this fight, man. I think Pacquiao has a few more great ones in him, man. And I think uh, he has a, a, a real excellent opportunity of uh, becoming the pound for pound number one again. I think he has a real excellent opportunity to unify those titles if, you know, he can get through these next uh, one, two, or maybe three fights. For now, I think that's it, man. I think we covered it all. Skill for skill, Pacquiao versus Thurman. Who you guys got? Let me know down in the comment section. We out of here.